random, but the whole idea today was that I'm gonna go out and chase some drift cars or maybe some motocross bikes and all that. But the trick at those places is that there's a really high chance that there's gonna be other drone pilots there and there's a lot of stuff I don't wanna crash into. So I kind of wanted to get in a little bit of practice before I head out to the really tight spots. And also I noticed that it's pretty windy out. So I basically found this random like truck stop, which is kind of near the spot where the drifting and motocross track is. And I just want to do a little bit of warming up and, you know, get my fingers all dialed in and try and figure out this wind situation a little bit before I rock up and have to worry about you know video and this and clashing with other pilots never mind the whole complexity of trying to chase drift cars and stay real close to them and all that good stuff you know some days you wake up all sharp and ready to go and dialed in and other days you kind of wake up a bit on the wrong side of the bed shall we say so uh hey no problem in warming up and i figured i would do it here because i don't want to be clashing with someone's video and this and that and it would also suck to just take off and have to like chase the drift cars from nothing i kind of wanted to spend a little bit of time with these guys too and just uh flippy floppy around a bit so yeah that's basically why i am sitting in the middle of some random truck stop where <laughs> anyone who sees me is going to be wondering what the hell is this guy doing so i don't know just want to fly Oh yeah, I also wanted to check out how these quads do on 4S. So I recently converted over to 5S for all my 5 inches, and that is normally what I run. And I can run 4S and 5S on the same motors. So I'm running the Mr. Steel Silk, like the 20, 2306, 2400-ish, whatever KV. I can maybe read that. I should know what they are. I don't. They're designed for 4S, but you can kind of push 5s on them a little bit if you're not using them for racing and i'm not so but i haven't flown 4s packs on this quad for a while either so i kind of want to figure that out too i mean for all i know my 4s packs might just like i mean yeah i've just discovered that the xt60 on this quad is really shitty or something so whatever just want to warm up a bit probably a couple packs worth i would say for those of you who don't fly quads there's like a main battery connector on the drone where this battery plugs into and my connection is not very good so the battery is becoming unplugged in flight ah oh, and i bent a prop it's always better to figure this shit out now as opposed to like if i'm like near a whole bunch of people or something because that would just be embarrassing and potentially dangerous as well so I'm just going to try and twiddle around with the connector a bit to enhance its connectivity and then we shall try and fly again. Literally one of my worst packs here, but it's sagging like anyone's business, so I won't fly long on it. I'll just fly a little while, but uh, yeah, it's always good to just verify that your quad works and little stuff like this is exactly why, because I don't want to be doing all the hardcore cool stuff without a reliable quad. Uh, this wind is also friggin' complicated, so I wanna figure out the wind and get used to the throttle response, all that good stuff. So it's a pretty safe spot to practice, actually. So now I'm gonna put my second pack. It's also a B pack, so this pack is gonna sag like a mother. And I'm, I'm still not used to the crappy power from 4S. So I probably won't be punching hard on these packs because they're just gonna sag to like zero volts and then recover back up to 16. They're that bad. They're not good lipos, but they're enough to get the quad in the air and just get a little bit of stick time in, and that's all I'm trying to do here.
السلام عليكم شك السلام كيف حالك تمام انت اوكي الحمد لله شك شك يو وانت سي شك اي وان سكند نو نو يو وان اه اي اوف لاي يوتيوبر ها يوتيوبر يوتيوب اه سام تايمز يا هو سوق تاع يوتيوب شنو هي اه جوست رايدر ايل جيف ايل جيف يو ذا G H S T. شنو هي ال؟ هذا يوتيوبر يوتيوبر يوتيوبر. لا لا هي. السلام عليكم. هذا أنت. عليكم السلام. كو. هذا ما أنا بشار. أيه. أنت بشار. بشار. Okay cool. I'll pick the right name. Friend. هذا عربي معلوم؟ شوي معلوم كم فلوس هذا؟ كم فلوس؟ فلوس هاو ماتش؟ ماني هذا ميبي 3000 درهم 4000 3000 هذا تشاينا سيتي؟ لا لا اي ميك ماي سيلف نيو اي ميك يا ذس درون اب هير اند ذس ون هير اي ميك ات كاميرا 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 ميبي 1700 اوكي ويت You have YouTube on here? I need YouTube, man. Oh, I do things like this. This is my channel. You can watch. This is my flying. Hey, this is my lady. That's me. Hola. Take. Hey, whoa. Welcome to Open TX. Oh. Oh, how the battery? So, one camera here for YouTube. This one for. Flying. Okay.
basically like they they were like whoa that's cool how much did that cost and i told them like kind of what it costs they're like what that's crazy and then the one guy's like what's my youtube channel so i told i tried to share my youtube channel with the guy and i was thinking god i've got a because the one guy was saying youtuber 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 so i was like yeah i got a youtube so i i found my channel tried to share the link it was difficult his phone's in arabic he couldn't open the link and then he finally saw my channel on my phone and he's like you only have 600 subscribers and i was like yeah and he said you suck <laughs> i said yeah <laughs> it's like that man he can't impress anyone these days so you know just gotta impress yourself and yeah just be cool with people then it's all good the most popular guy in the truck stop for sure hello or whatever that's worth and yeah my arabic's really bad so like for you dudes who just got impressed whoa this guy speaking arabic no man i suck i wish i spoke better arabic because i live in a freaking arab country for like ever and my arabic sucks anyways i should have learned but i know enough to kind of not be a total idiot, I guess. Just a pretty big idiot. Enough to kind of break the ice, I guess. So now I'm gonna go chase the drift cars over yonder. That is how a random day turns into a vlog, I guess. Honestly speaking, I enjoy these little random moments in FPV, like just as much as I enjoy the best flights or the best this or the best that you know most of the time people are just curious <laughs> I've lived here long enough in Dubai man to like kind of know how different people are from different parts of the world and everything so those guys are like I'm not saying I know everything about everyone that would be arrogant of me right but I've been exposed to enough different people that no big deal when I kind of know how they tick and really like when you get past the language and the way people dress and all that kind of stuff you know people are just people man everyone's pretty much like most people are just basic dudes just trying to you know make their way in the world have fun and you know they're just curious about stuff they haven't seen and I like that aspect of uh, the hobby man just random dudes roll up they start asking questions you know I could get all like annoyed and oh no you're really flights and I could just run away or but that's not me man it's not how I am I'm not the most sociable person but I'll never turn down you know anyone who's got a question or who's interested or this or that I don't know, it's just the way I am maybe it's called being polite but the other trick is like you know they seem like cool guys they invited me for a shisha that's the other thing most of these people most people in general who you see on TV and they might look different than you, dress different than you or whatever. Honestly, like most of the time, they're really nice people. Hospitable, polite. And that goes for like people from all over, man. Whether they're from Afghanistan or Indian guys or Pakistanis, uh, GCC Arabs, you know, whatever, man. People are generally pretty cool if you're cool to them. And so, I just like to be cool to people. That's been my experience. It's like, if you have good intentions, you know, you might not speak the language, but if you have good intentions and you're cool with people and you try and understand them, like, you can quite often, I don't know, just learn new stuff. <laughs> and I like that, man. I think the world needs more of that stuff too, you know? It's like, we don't all have to be the same, but and still be polite and cool with each other and yeah we're all just the same really it's just the packaging that's different and the labeling and whatever but humans are humans and most people are generally good people and I just like being reminded that every so often floats my boat puts a smile on the face it's priceless you know <laughs> 